Hey pipe smokers, how are you? Briar Fiend here, back at ya. Got a uh, pipe in from Cup of Joe's. Gonna open it up for you, see what it is. Open it up with my poker, Tanto, tactical knife. I love poker knives from Germany, just like my heritage. See another half of my heritage. I'm gonna open up the box. Alright, so the other half of my heritage. Irish. St. Patrick's Day 2012. Been wanting the shape for a long time. Filming this without my uh, phone cradle. This is all one handed. Be amazed. Typical Peterson bag. Well, pipe. Peterson, St. Patrick's Day 2012 Canadian shape. Love the grain. Been really into rustic, rusticated pipes, but it's pretty awesome. There it is. Check the draw. I'm pretty sure it's awesome. Like a whistle. Awesome. Always wanted a Canadian shape. Okay, and now for my second act, I'm going to show you my pipe collection. Be it small, I'm pretty picky about pipes. So, here we go. Arlie Kurtz, nose warmer. It's the only pipe I put a uh, softy bit on. His legacy dot. White with the little red dot. Faux ivory. This was a lot lighter when I got it. All the oils from my hands and stuff. Just made it darker. There's his stamp. 2011. It's an awesome pipe. He's out of uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Awesome pipe. Good prices too. One of my first pipes, Peterson Dungal Rocky. There you go. Another Peterson, Killarney, number 150, Bulldog shape. I like grain and I like rustication, but it's pretty awesome. Let's see here. Cobs aren't as exciting. Savinelli stent. It's 
awesome colors going on. Nice grain. Smokes great. Another Savinelli from my first vid. 320. Love the blast. I love it. Nice big bowl for a small pipe. Big bit as well. Moving right along. Let's see. For my second vid. Dunhill, the legacy. The dot, 1962 estate, I can say it right this time, got this from my uh, partner in crime, tobacco pipe collector, Paul shape, amphora, From the 1970s. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, zoom is bad on here. Lay that to the side. Doesn't really sit in the pipe stand that great. Next up is the Arley. Is the Randy Wiley. Sorry. Number 55. Next is a I have no idea because I got it at a antique shop. I'm trying to look up information on it. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I want to say a Dr. Garbro. There's the stem. Seven bucks at an antique shop. Stanwell. My very first pipe. Featherweight. And my two corn cobs. Both from Missouri. Straight. Changed out the clear bit for the uh, clear stem for the uh, straight black. Got this one. So, okay, well that's, that's my pipe collection so far. Don't have that many. That's a good rotation, I think. Anyway, I've rambled on enough, and uh, I can't seem to keep it under four minutes. Always go over seven minutes, I think. Maybe I'll uh, yeah, just talk too much. I don't know. Anyway, um, shout out to Tobacco Pipe Collector, the Backy Butcher, Dunhill Man UK, One Man Smoke. All these people inspired me, um, keep me going. It's only my third vid. Getting. Get more comfortable as I go along. Kind of nerve-wracking knowing I got so many people watching my vids. <laughs> I guess I'll get over it. Anyway, Tobacco Pipe Collectors on Facebook has taken off. We uh, just went over 480 likes. Um, tried out Fernando Evaldi's tobaccos. Um, featured in my last vid. And um, they're really good. Filled out all the forms and stuff on the tobaccos and uh, sent it back to him and he's going to evaluate and make his tobaccos even better. Okay, well, I'll check you guys later. Peace. Later.